welcome to the final. We're here in the jungles of Lustria for the Blood Bowl Cup final against the High Seas Surfriders. Let's be the kickers here today. This is the first time I've seen this uh, pitch. Now, remember, we got a player with a kick. Now, where is he? He's over here. So, now we're looking for our strappy goblins. Here we go. Now, we're much more effective at kicking. So we can place a ball and hopefully. Now, I actually got a Master Chef for the uh, inducement results. What that means is that I actually get to steal rerolls from the opponents. And I figured, since it was elves, if I can reduce the number of rerolls they have. That's always good. So it's all about trying to get the ball back here. See, they've already got two players open. And then we can hopefully try and get back. Well, that's a good start. We managed to use up one of the rerolls. We've left a, a little bit of exposure in there. So I'll move a goblin in there. I'm going to have to try and let's block this guy out. Now, I do have that reroll, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I won't follow that one up. Ball did land in the worst possible place for it. And that's okay. It's now about getting a hold of that ball and keeping hold of it. So immediately in the final our opponents have made a mistake. We've been able to luck out, hopefully be able to get the ball back and then we'll see if we can make any impact on this game or not. So we'll move a couple of players up. Hopefully we'll be able to take somebody at the game here. I should stun one of them, but in their turn, so let's see if they get the ball back out of this one. And unfortunately, I've left this very exposed. I had a match and knock out one of my players. That's popped the ball loose already. And unfortunately it looks like they're going to get the ball back. All the way over there. And what looked to be almost a perfect game. Has already turned into them scoring. That's incredibly disappointing for us. As it looked like we were going to get the ball there and maybe get a 1-0 lead. We're getting our knocked out player back though, but very disappointed how that one went. So we'll get our team all lined back up. Now the good news is though, we've still got a few turns to make a difference here. So I'll pick, try and pick a pop. Brilliant, man, to do that. And I shall not blitz right now. I'll try and block this guy out first. Move him out of the way. Sadly, I can't uh, cause any injuries to him. We're getting the knockdowns. We're just not having the Injury breakings. 
So we'll move some of our players up here. Trying to uh, block this guy out. I don't want to injure my goblin straight away. Start to move players. And we'll call that one a turn. Now, I'm hoping we can actually get hold of a ball here. Uh, sorry, actually grind our way out for a score, rather. Uh, if we can score the last turn or so, or last, or second last turn, I'll be happy with that. And they've taken another player out. Probably the same one I got knocked out last time. Maybe it's got a concussion. So. Let's see what we can do here. Now, unfortunately, my players will seem to be just slightly in an awkward position. Here's, he can go to around there, so. I'm looking to try and work out who the best guy to take this guy out will be. I should have a player catch and dodge. We'll kind of use him to blitz somebody else. What I'll do is I'll move my goblins in here. Try and block him down. That's not what I wanted, but it certainly will do. I'll actually move my troll up a bit. Move my guys into form a sort of side cage against the end, the uh, side of the pitch here. And let's see, is there anybody I can potentially try and injure? Referee noticed and uh, sent him off, unfortunately. So, we are down to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 players. It's going to be very tricky to actually do this. I've left a big hole there, I didn't really think about that one. Right, who's this guy's got? Oh, that's not good to have. We need to be careful about this. Because he's got sidestep, he can always stay just in the way. So I'm going to have to block with this guy. I won't follow up. I'm going to have to try desperately. Take him down. So, can I get anywhere anytime soon? Can I dodge? Oh, I managed to dodge just out the way. I'm leaving myself horribly, horribly exposed right now. I need to be very, very careful. Unfortunately, 
I'm not going to be able to stretch this score out any further. There, getting their players into position. Unfortunately, somebody's going to get clobbered here, I think. And I've got a player in the way. Now, are they going to. Oh, that's lucky of me. Now, the question is. use and can I hold off another turn? Don't want to score too quick. Is that what I need to do here? I need to I don't want to risk any extra dishes that can help it at all. Trying to just cause a bit of a block. I'm going to make an extra go for it here, as it's called. Try and squeeze an extra dice roll out. There we do. An extra movement out, sorry. Now, this is going to get a little bit messy. I'm just going to leave. Oh, that didn't go to plan at all. They've got a whole lot of players down at the back. Oh, I didn't even think about that one there. Apparently they didn't actually blitz, that was lucky. So in the end I'm stretching this one out a little bit more. Moving your guys. Position. Oh, and David tried to go for an extra movement and fell over. So, I'll do that. I can't take that risk. And I'll just jump in for the score. Now, do we get our knocked out player back? No, we don't. So, do I still have my king player on the field? Yes, I do. Brilliant. So, let's, uh, let's try and do this better. Can I defend what we've done so far any differently? Let's just try this, it's a little bit of a weird positioning, but let's try and kick the ball off and pin them back here. Again, they've managed to get the lucky roll, it lets them get a player pretty much anywhere, and this is now going to let them get players all the way down here. In the tabletop game, passing never seems to be quite as effective as this. It's always a little bit harder to build teams, mind you, for it. Now, I just need to try and get a player in the way. Now, 
here's this guy. Let's climb. Can you not come back a bit? Again, just make and use as much dice rolls as I can. doing very well unfortunately guys we're hitting a bit of a wall here we're probably doing better than we did in the first match but ah that's when they managed to fluff the pass for the first time I've seen that one happen by these guys this is not going to give us a chance to try and hurt the players a little bit. I might be need to uh, be a little bit sneaky, but as we are. So I'm getting all my players round and I'm just going to foul them. didn't do anything and in fact I lost the player because of it so overall it's not been successful and in fact I'm oh that's my two-headed player I didn't realize that one so it's actually looking grim despite the scoreline So again, we'll move my heart men back. Let's see where they put the ball. Again, right in the worst possible place for me, probably. Especially because I, again, failed to put my players in the right place to start with. I get used to certain players being in certain positions and if they're not there, I tend to forget that they're there or not as the case may be. So we're looking for my four, here we go. He's going all the way down now. It is going to be a very, very tricky match here. I'm not overly confident about this one right now. That's not good. That's almost worse. But I start trying to forget players who might end up having to go for a fool, you know. They've already got guys all the way down. How many do I actually have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got a full quantity on the field. I just need to keep them on there. Let's see. Moving their team down. Patrols holding up a lot of their players. That's brilliant, that's what he's there to do. Now they tried to foul the back. Didn't get it through, but they didn't get set up either. So, 
for strings first, let's pick the ball up. And let's not pick the ball up as the case must have been there. So I immediately fluff that up. I don't get the ball. And they've already got players right there waiting to pick it up. And the big question is, are they going to... Oh, yeah, he's sneaky. And now, I do have... Oh, one well, of my players has gone down. Who's that? I'm not interested in that. That's a goblin with no skills at all, which means he'll just get retired next match. You see, it's only the, the big players that scaven or a troll or maybe a goblin with skills are save. Now, I'm looking down here and interested to try and find out if I can actually knock one or both of these guys off the pitch. I don't think I can get both of them. Let's try. And move this guy to here. And that landed in the worst place I wanted. Alright. That works though. So I managed to get him off the pitch. By some miracle, I managed to get a hold of the ball. And now I've got a ball, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing with it, as I did not think of this one through at all. I can't hand it off. How come I have to... Ooh, yeah, I'll re -roll that one. And... Oh, I've lost a goblin there. He's injured, long term. But now... I'm going to get hurt, I think. Ooh, lucky there. Now, what I do need to do is stop for a minute, get a player up, bring him back down to pitch slightly. Now, I need to hand the ball off. Great, so I managed to get the ball back and I'll where's the safest place? I absolutely understand that there's no easy solution for this one. I'm just gonna have to make do right now. If I can get my Control in the middle of it. That at least will give me an, not an edge as such, but hopefully give me something to work on here. Let's try and take it in another player. That will have to do. Try and dodge my goblin, just get him in the way. I can't have used the reroll or not, have I? That's okay. Fortunately, there's lots of exposed points in that cage, but right now I don't have much choice in the matter. I can try and reform it next time. 
Until then, I'm going to have to just make do with this. I should only be able to get one block on me though, regardless. Right, so, let's have a look at this one. Now, I can block this guy off the way, hopefully brilliant, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then, if I blitz, again, fine with that, so the pushback works for me right now. This guy can move around a bit further. He's stretching out, trying to go an extra step or two. And let's see, does he make it? Brilliant. And now I need to stretch again. Come on, does he manage it? And he should. Ah, one more. Oh, we're lucky. So, there we go. I'll leave that as is, I think. I might as well just block down here and see what we get. I'll have to accept that. I don't want to risk reason the veto, so... We will be entering turn 14 very, very soon, and they still have a good chance though. And that's good. I've not been able to get right into my player, but there is still a chance. I can score. But it is risky this turn. Somebody got injured, I think. Now, it's my turn. So, I'll just try and move. Yep, yeah, he's able to move. Fantastic. Now, what I can do is a blitz. Try and knock this guy out the way. And move the ball down a bit. It's going to be very risky. Don't know how much choice in the matter. That's exactly what I needed. And what we can now do is move this goblin to here. Create another little bit of a block in the way. And move this guy up one. I'm going to try and get this guy down as well. He's plenty of room to move there. Actually, I'd rather. So that's risky. Now, I'm not going to leave anybody else. Let's have a look. How is this going to go? So there we go. Got one player on the ball. Can I get the touchdown here and win? It reminds me of the Super Bowl. It was just played. My team I support, the Seahawks, right on the edge, ready to score, and almost at the last play, 
didn't make it. Well, he did make it in fact. He threw and was intercepted. But we're not going to throw here. Oh no. We're simply going to try and dodge. Now, this doesn't mean that we're going to win. Because still two turns and we get the 2-1 score that's it Stone Whisperers are now in the lead two touchdowns to one with two turns left for them to score my team is decimated it really isn't much hope for us other than trying to stop I do have our kicker where is he out I think my kicker must be injured he's knocked out so we can't even rely on a lucky kick Let's kick the ball off. They've got all the rerolls, all we can do is hope. And they don't pick it up, but they do. Now, that's one of their players down. That's brilliant. So, they do have one player free. Now, what I do need to do is try and prevent a touchdown. Only way I can do this is by trying to knock this guy down. Brilliant. But he can still actually make it. That guy can't. Now, let's try to cause as much disruption. As possible, or not as the case may be. Now it's all going to come down. Oh, they can't do it. I think. Yes, they stood that player up, which means they're not going to be able to get it on the final throw of the game. And stones, whisperers. Avenge the humiliating loss. Everything has been stacked against them. All tournament. Everybody said the oh, goblins and rat men couldn't manage it. But there you go. Even when the odds were against us, we've done it. We won the cup. Fantastic, guys. That is amazing work. We won the cup. Uh, there's no presentation. It's simply a trophy that can go in our cup. Thanks very much everybody, we've done it, we are the champions.